you know, we stayed up to watch the announcement. I knew what our experiment was going to say, but I didn't know what the other experiment was going to say. And uh, to, to my surprise and, and delight, um, they're seeing what we are, which is that the, the rate for the Higgs to um, decay to two photons is high by maybe 50 percent, at least something like that. And what that tells us is that what we're seeing might not be the standard model Higgs boson, but uh, Higgs boson from uh, some beyond the standard model theory of physics. But you know, the standard model is badly broken. The Higgs boson, at, at the same time, completes the standard model, yet tells us, and, and tells us we were on the right track, but we already know, we, we knew before we discovered the Higgs boson that it can't possibly be a s simple, s single standard model Higgs boson. There must be more. Dark matter is another clue, and supersymmetry gives us a perfect dark matter candidate. Now, if supersymmetry is not there, th there has to be something else that's doing it. It could be that what we're seeing is not a Higgs boson at all, but uh, an imposter, which is actually a new particle that is, exists due to the presence of what some people call new strong dynamics, a new force of nature. You know, I always uh, promise people the Star Trek transporter, anti-gravity, and new sources of energy. <laughs> when they ask why we're doing this, that's, you know, ultimately it's the real wild dreams. When, when they were inventing quantum mechanics, uh, discovering the electron, they weren't trying to invent YouTube and uh, <laughs> uh, email, right? That, but that's what it led to.